we built over 15 fights together is invaluable. And this announcement today solidifies our shared goals in continuing to provide the best platform possible for the sport. Uh, with PBC's recently renewed partnership with Showtime Sports, alongside a multi-year deal with Fox and FS1, it's truly an exciting time for the entire sport of boxing. Um, we're not a subscription <laughs> platform. Um, what the PBC announced this week is unprecedented. Um, we're going to reach the masses, unprecedented promotion and support, and most of all, our great athletes that make up the PBC will be brought to homes all across this country, and in some respects for the first time. Because what this sport needs is promotion. Um, and I think Fox, as well as Showtime, who's been at it for years, is going to provide just that. I want to congratulate, although he's not here with us today, Stephen Espinosa and his staff at Showtime. I mean, they've done an incredible job for the sport and obviously announced, um, you know, recently their uh, continued relationship with the PBC. Um, obviously, we welcome Fox and FS1 into the sport in a bigger and better way. Um, Lou DeBell and his team have been terrific, and Lou, thanks for all your support and making today possible for the Barclay Center, but for you know promoting just world-class events at our venue. Uh, I look forward to seeing everyone uh, later uh, this week, Saturday night in Brooklyn. As Lou said, the, the tickets are going really fast. Uh, it should be a packed house, electric, and um, it's what Brooklyn Boxing is all about. Thank you very much. As Fred noted, Stephen Espinosa had a family emergency, so he's not with us today. Um, you know, there was there were big announcements this week and, and groundbreaking announcements uh, for Premier Boxing Champions about their new relationship with with Fox, um, which I think is going to be a great thing for boxing fans and for big time boxing's visibility and promotion and marketing. Um, but Showtime is remaining uh, a industry leader in the boxing industry and announced themselves last week a continued relationship with Premier Boxing Champions and I think you're going to see more of this type of show on Showtime, a, a continuance of, of the Premier Boxing telecasts on Premium Cable. And um, to talk about that I'd like to bring up the Senior Vice President of Showtime Boxing, uh, Chris Bossi. Thank you, Lou. Uh, Lou stole a bit of my lead here, so uh, we'll skip ahead and keep this brief. I know we want to hear from the fighters. We're excited for this Saturday for sure. So, you know, it's a bit of a renaissance happening in the boxing industry. Um, the Fox output deal with PBC, PBC's agreement with the Barclays Center, and of course, uh, our long-term relationship being solidified last week with our announcement of a three-year commitment. Um, and I think it'll continue long after that as well. Um, as Lou had mentioned, we, we have established ourselves as a leader in the industry, and we're all really, really proud of that. Um, and I think I, I speak on behalf of Stephen and all of our staff when I say how proud we are to be leading the biz. Um, it's an incredible time for boxing, and our, our commitment uh, has been and will continue to be second to none. Um, over the past several years, we have uh, delivered the largest slate of live boxing events on television. Uh, we have the most pivotal matchups in boxing's deepest divisions. There's no other entity that's put as many resources, both financially and editorially, behind the, the sport and the growth. Um, and our relationship with the PDC and in a large part with the Barclays Center, we do so many events with them, um, it, it has fostered that growth. Um, in 2018 alone, Showtime has delivered 26 live boxing events, 22 world title fights, that's far more than anyone else. Um, and it's not just the quantity, but it's the quality. Fight of the Year contenders, Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz earlier this year at Barclays Center. Uh, Eris Lani Lara versus Jared Hurd was an incredible bout. Adonis Stevenson and Bonnie Jack had a war. We've had three world title unification fights. We've had four women's world title fights so far. And there's more to come, most notably Saturday night. This will be our fourth Showtime Championship boxing event at the Barclays Center just this year. It is our 19th overall in the building out of the, the 30 that Brett mentioned. That's a, uh, an incredibly uh, strong number, two-thirds already. Um, we're proud of our collaboration with Brett Yormark and his team at Barclays. We think that we have done and uh, worked together to contribute to elevate the experience both in the arena and for fans watching on TV. Saturday's main event. 
This is a 50-50 matchup. It's one that's been predicted by legends Manny Pacquiao and Ray Leonard, as well as contemporaries Keith Thurman and Mikey Garcia as an all-action, exciting fight. Hard to pick a winner. This will be our eighth matchup of consensus top five ranked opponents on Showtime just this year. That's a remarkable number of top champions facing their top challengers. It's a trend that's proven to be contagious amongst the PBC fighters, and we've all enjoyed watching and the benefits of that. Together, Danny Garcia and Sean Porter have fought, uh, have been presented by our team at Showtime 20 times. We've seen them come of age, earn world titles, achieve stardom, and even survive dramatic razor thin setbacks. Now they're headed for what is arguably the biggest night of their life, their careers. In all, we'll present six world, six fights on Saturday Night Live, each significant in its own right. The three Showtime Championship boxing bouts will begin live at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific, and we have three preliminary fights airing on our social media channels beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific. We have two rising stars on our countdown show, and we have one potentially record-setting world title fight featuring Amanda Serrano. So, like so many before it, Saturday's fight card is a can't-miss event. We look forward to bringing it to you, and we look forward to helping to lead this renaissance for many years to come. Thank you, and good luck to all the fighters. Let's give them weight divisions. You heard the two names, Oscar, Manny Pacquiao. They're the only fighters, male or female, to accomplish something like that. If you're successful Saturday night, what would that mean to you to be in that class? Well, it will mean everything. I mean, seventy four is a great honor to be there, and uh, I hope uh, I'm doing something great for female boxing in the future. You know, if it's not for me, I hope it's for the young girls coming up in this sport. I hope I can continue to uh, break down these bar barriers and open these doors for these young women, and hopefully, I can cement my name in the Hall of Fame. Thank you, Amanda. Now we get down to the televised version of the evening. We're going to start things off in the heavyweight division. You have a former world champion, Charles Martin, taking on Adam Kognoski, and Adam, an undefeated fighter, fighting out of Brooklyn. And Adam, you're facing a former champion. You've passed basically every test that's been placed in front of you. Um, do you think this fight puts you on the scene nationally if you're a victorious Saturday? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, after Saturday night, everybody will know my name. Adam Kovnatsky has been on everybody's lips. This is the next great heavyweight in America. If you're victorious Saturday, will this be your statement win to this point in your career? Yeah, I think last year my fight against uh, Arthur Spiegel was advertising, and uh, this will be the main course. His opponent, the former IBF heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Martin. And Charles, I know you're looking to regain that title, regain the boxing public's respect again after your time away. You've had a couple of comeback tune-ups, but do you think a win over an undefeated fighter like Adam proves that Charles Martin is back and ready to compete at the highest level in the heavyweight division? Absolutely. I'm going to go out there and put on the show Saturday put myself back in where I need to be. Deontay Wilder will be there. He'll be at the fight watching. What's the message you're trying to send to the heavyweight division come Saturday night? That I'm here. Get up. I belong here. That will be the first fight of the night. And then we go to what we call our co-main event. You've got welterweights. I mean, Dennis Ugas taking on Cesar Dario Nuevo. And Cesar, let's start with you. This will be your first fight here in the States. What are you hoping a win over a fighter like Ugas on a national network like Showtime will do for you? Samson Lukowicz will do the translation. Thank you. 
Eh, muy contento de estar, eh, ser partícipe, digamos, de, de estar en el evento, de estar en el tema, así que bueno, eh, muy feliz, eh, agradecido con Showtime y con el jugador Sánchez Ricoles por darme esta oportunidad. Eh, sin duda va a ser una gran pelea, quiero que sea mi parte de presentación. Eh, estoy preparado para dar un gran show y que la gente quede conforme. Yo, Dennis, I like to call you one of the most dangerous guys and fighters in that welterweight division. You just continue to roll after a win, roll up win after win after win. Um, do you believe, though, this win? over Barrio Nuevo, finally gets you that title shot against one of the big boys at 147 times. No, buenas tardes a todos. Gracias a la policía Chantay por apostar por mí. Eh, vamos a una gran pelea de sábado. Eh, Barrio Nuevo es un gran peleador. Eh, estamos, estoy en un honor pelear en la cartelera de Dan Chan, grande de campeón, el grande peleador. Y el sábado pienso que mostré todo mi talento y va a ser una gran pelea. DC wants to thank Showtime. Um, it's an honor to be a part of such a big part of the Barclays Center. Um, and Saturday is going to come do what he, what he needs to do. He's coming to win. Um, and he's coming to put on a great performance. And the rest will take care of himself. Do you believe a victory will finally give you that world title shot? Do you believe that a victory will finally give you that world title shot? I think that in the last two years, I've been one of the best players más consistente y activo del deporte. Eh, pienso que estoy en la puerta de un campeonato, pero el sábado tengo algunos negocios que atender y, y después de sábado entonces hablamos. Y él piensa que ha sido el más consistente fighter por los últimos dos años. De nuevo, él va a venir a poner una gran performance el sábado y el resto lo va a hacer eso. Y ahora vamos al evento main. Dos campeones de mundo mundiales fighting for the vacant WBC welterweight title. Title that was vacated by Keith Thurman in April. Danny Garcia, the former WBC welterweight champion, taking on Showtime Sean Porter, the former IBF welterweight champ. These are two fighters who basically have been orbiting around each other for quite some time, and now we've got the fight. Danny, I'll ask you, uh, starting off with you, and I'll ask you a question that I asked Sean, had Sean on the desk last month. Um, both you and Sean are so similar. Former world champions, both trained by your fathers, both had that fight, close fights with Keith Thurman. What separates you from Sean Paul? You know, first of all, I want to thank God. You know, I want to thank my team, uh, Team Garcia, I want to thank Showtime. Um, what's that reason for Showtime? Uh, strong border is, you know, I just feel like I'm a, I'm a better fighter. You know, I'm a better all around fighter. And, um, you know, I just feel like I'm a better fighter, and that's it. Sean, uh, generally, fight fans, when you talk to them about the welterweight division, the two names they say at the top. They'll say Terrence Crawford, they'll say Errol Spence Jr. Kind of forget about Keith Thurman because he's been so uh, inactive. But do you believe the winner of this fight changes that train of thought and that thing? Most definitely. And especially the way I'm going to win this fight. It's, it's, it's going to be, you know, when, when I when I do to this man next to me and how it's done and when I win, there's no... You're gonna be wondering whether or not those guys can beat me, whether or not 
you know, those guys can really have what it takes to beat me. And, um, you know, that's that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to put on a great show. I'm here to win this championship and doing a fantastic performance. Danny, um, there's been this narrative out there that since you've moved up and been a welterweight that they say Danny Garcia cherry picks his opponents. You heard Keith Thurman try to use that. I saw a uh, skit that Sean Porter used doing the same thing. It kind of mocked you about it. Respond to that, please. Well, I'm a cherry picker. Don't that make you a cherry? <laughs> <laughs> Save everything. I don't have to say much about that. <laughs> Sean? It's a good response. Uh, Vegas has Danny as the slight betting favorite to win Saturday night. So give me your thoughts on you going into this fight, ironically, as the underdog, considering this is a guy who, as you say, cherry picks his opponents. I was what I'm used to. Uh, I know people have won money on me before, and it wasn't because I was the, the, the guy I expected to win. You know, So there's going to be a lot of people out there winning a lot of money, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing what, what it takes for them to get paid. Uh, this is what I do, and I love it. You know, um, And as I said on the video, he couldn't find a, a cherry for Saturday. He get in the room with a pit bull. He know that. Danny, um, this is going to be for both of you. Our Steve Farhood had an interview with Keith Thurman. We both have fought him. He rated both of you guys. He said ring IQ even, chin even. But he leans towards Porter by a decision. Your thoughts? You know, that's his personal opinion. Um, like I said before, my style is completely way different than Sean. I mean, Keith Thurman. So, so you can't really go by that. You know, Styles mean fights. I'm a different type of fighter than um, Keith Thurman. Um, I know I'm the better boxer than um, Sean Porter. And I'm just gonna go in there Saturday night and improve it. Let it all hang out, let my nuts hang. You <laughs> 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 come up with the response. <laughs> Sean, your thoughts on Keith Thurman's prediction? Yeah, I mean, he's right. Styles, Styles make fights. Uh, I, I know that's an unbiased opinion by, by Keith, so I, I respect it. Even if he had said he thought Danny would win, I still would respect it because he's been in the ring with both of us. He knows what both of us have. And uh, even outside of that, he, he, he understands boxing. And uh, so I, I respect his decision. Um, I think. One way or another, I'm, I'm going to win this fight. Whether it's decision, knockout, I'm ready to do whatever it takes to win this fight. I told you before, man, there's nothing I've ever wanted in my life, in my entire life, I'm 30 years old. There's nothing I've ever wanted more than this. And with that being said, I'm out there to take it. Taking them nuts. <laughs> no homo. Hey. Basically, I'm taking any, any and everything he coming with, I'm taking it. Oh. Hey, I'm trying to have more kids, bro. Don't hit me with all over those hey. things. Hey. Hey. That hurt, too. That, that hurt. Hey. Hey. Whatever it takes. But okay. I'm with it. Um, I told you, I'm trying to have fun. Absolutely. <laughs> that sounds like some weird fun, bro. <laughs> Danny, let's, uh, let's get back to the fight. This is for that big WBC, that green belt. You had it. Um, and in fact, I was looking over your record. If I'm not mistaken, your first world title was a WBC belt. Even at 140. What would it mean to you? to have that strategy? Oh, it means the world to me. Um, wow. you know, it's, a new, it's a new chapter in my career. It's a new chapter in my career. Um, I've been in a lot of great fights. I've been in a lot of tough fights. You know, I'm a seasoned boxer. I'm a seasoned champion. And um, just regaining something that was mine, you know, it's like a, it's like a bully, you know? You steals your lunch money. You can't wait to get him back. And then when you finally beat his ass, it's like, yeah, I knew I was a man. You try to pick on me because I was quiet. You know what I mean? 
So it just like one of those moments where I just kind of prove myself that, you know, I'm still the best fighter in the world. My follow-up to that is, uh, I talked with Sean about this, Errol Spence Jr. says that he's been promised the winner of this fight. If you're victorious, do we see a unification fight of Danny Garcia and Errol Spence Jr. in 2019? Well, absolutely. You know, if the money's right, you know, the like I said before, I want the biggest fights, the biggest money pay these. Um, I mean, the point in my career where, you know, this would be my fourth world title, so let the money start talking. You know, I deserve it. I face everyone they put in front of me. And right now, it's just all about, you know, the moolah, the money. <laughs> I got a family to feed. I want to have more kids. <laughs> Sean, you were once the IBF welterweight champion. Now you get this WBC belt, you have the opportunity to secure that around your waist. What would that mean to you? It means the world to me. Why is that? Um, this is my goal. Um, I'm a very goal-oriented person. I set goals. I accomplish my goals. It's what I do. It's a part of me. It's a part of who I am. So um, I didn't know when this fight, when I was going to be able to fight for this WBC title. And um, you know, as soon as this fight was announced for the WBC, Yes, it's finally here. This is my, my opportunity. I'm going to get it. More so than the IBF belt. Yes. Um, this this goal was set after the IBF title. Um, I just felt like that this 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 WBC title has so much lineage and some so much wrapped around it. And for me to want to be a part of that, be a part of that WBC family, that's what I'm going after. We'll wrap it up with this. Give you a final comment on what should. Fight fans expect sure. Saturday night when they tune in the Showtime Championship yeah. boxing. Expect Danny Garcia to have the shortest ass um, new chapter of his life Saturday night. Ooh, wow. The shortest chapter he's ever had. It's, it's going down Saturday, and that fight, that belt's that, that going back to, to, to Vegas with me. Danny? Shortest ass and taking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, you know. I feel good. I feel good. This is not new to me. This is not new to me. I've been perform performing at this level for a long time. I put in the hard work. You know, it's been a real hot summer. You know, I missed my daughter's first day of school the other day of preschool, so I'm sacrificing. You know what I mean? So, um, I feel good, man. And come Saturday night, I'm going to get this victory because I'm a better fighter and I'm a true champion. There you have it. That will be the main event on Showtime Championship Boxing. We're going to have these fighters face off now. Take some pictures. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Best of luck to you Saturday night.